board. It's also called a design board. And we like it because it has these channels that you can put your beads in. And then it also has measurements. So you can measure how big your necklace is going to be. Right, so you see the numbers around the edge here and the zero in the center. The zero is where your focal bead will be or the, or the center of your necklace. And what you'll do then is lay out your beads up to half of the length of your necklace. For example, if we were making a 16 inch necklace, we would want to go to eight inches on both sides. Yes. And then your necklace will be a little bit longer because when you put on the clasp, it will be a tiny bit longer. So you want to take that into account. That's right. It's also nice that there's three channels here. You can use the outside channel and the inside channel and make a two strand necklace, or you can use all three and make a triple strand necklace. That's nice. And then also has some little pockets that you can just store some beads in. That's great. And it's covered in flocking so it's soft and the beads don't just roll all over the table. So what we want to do now is take our beads that we picked out and we want to cut them off the strands that they came on. Yeah. So we've got them in our little channels here. And then we like to start with the biggest beads first to lay out the design. And if you were doing a symmetric necklace, you could lay it out symmetrically, but we want to do kind of a random design. It looks a little modern right now to do that. So we'll just take some of our biggest beads. You want to grab some? Yeah. And we're using the outside channel. So we're just going to lay them around. And then we'll kind of check and make sure we don't have two next to each other that are the same. Make sure it's not too symmetric because we don't want it to be too symmetric. That's right. And we're building up to... What do we say? We went about 17 and a half a little, of yeah, beads. A little over eight then. So we'll go a little bit yeah, over eight. Yeah. It doesn't have to be precise. There I like go. these little silver guys too. Oh, they're Except so Except I pretty. don't want the silver guy next to this silver. Right. You can put him here maybe put or there. there. That's yeah, great. perfect. So now we're going to go for our medium-sized beads. And these have the silver, that faceted, I love beautiful. those faceted beads. And then we're just going to lay those around the same way. We tend to use smaller beads toward the where the clasp yes. is. It just makes it easier to close the clasp. So yeah. kind of just lay those around Drop like those that. those in so they're a little bit like evenly distributed. There we go. Then we have the little AB. Remember that was the Aurora Borealis finish on these little QB beads that are so cute. Love those. And we'll put these in between the other beads. And you can put one in between every bead, but you could also put two in some spots. Sure. Mix it up a little bit. Whatever you want to do. That's the nice thing about laying the beads out ahead of time on your bead board is you can you can change your mind. You can see yes. what it looks like and move them around. You don't have to restring the whole thing. Right. Now, if you have gaps like this, when you string, all these are going to be pushed down close together. That's right. You won't have enough beads. So you want to make sure that these are all pretty much touching in your design if you want it to be the right length. So once you've laid out all your beads, you can push them down together so that they're touching and then go back and check your measurements. That's make good. Make sure that, I'm going to add these. Yeah, I did. I grabbed too. one of those did you? too. Okay. I did. I really like those. I did too. So this is pretty yeah. good. I have a couple room for a couple more here. Oh good. And then we have extras if we need them on the end if we don't have quite enough, enough length. And then the nice thing too is you can look at it here this is kind of big maybe to be back yeah, behind your I neck it and it's too kind big. of fun. Why don't we, why don't we swap, swap, that. swap it out with that little guy Yeah, maybe? I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to swap it so with So now because guy. they're not on the string yet, you can move them all around, get them how you want them. I think these two could be swapped Yeah, also. that's good. And we like to make sure we don't have two alike next to each other. Like yes. these two are a little bit too similar probably to be next to you each other. You could add one of those in. Yeah, maybe we'll do... Or you can swap it for the silver one. Oh, let's do that. Where did it go? Here that we one. Go. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. So this design board just lets you lay out your design, which is why it's called the design board. We think it's really helpful. And it's this wonderful. looks good. We're ready to string.